I wrote a book called Is Monogamy Dead? when I heard that in many surveys 50% of people confess to cheating. Yes, yes, so if you are in a monogamous relationship and you're not cheating... <laughs> you better look closely at your partner. Uh, simple Maths says it's got to be them. Anyone in, anyone in cheating tonight? Uh, is anyone polyamorous having more than one relationship? No, because they're quite busy. Um, if you are polyamorous and you've reached your threshold of partners, apparently you can say that you're polysaturated. <laughs> But I've been studying the body language between people who are together for many years. This is a sort of hostage situation there. Um, I love it uh, when you see a couple of one of them is shorter than the other. I find myself fascinated and thinking, how did they get together? Did their eyes meet across a seesaw? <laughs> and height difference is scientifically interesting because men often go for a woman who's shorter, women go for a man who's taller, even certain heterosexual relationships. But did you know in the gay world, these desires carry over. It's quite hard for a short lesbian like me to catch shy of a slightly taller lesbian because she's looking for tall lesbian and that and it carries on and on. <laughs> and end a spiral. And in some ways it's quite good two gay people can't actually create a baby together because think about it, runaway evolutionary theory would mean that lesbians would evolve and get taller and taller and taller and taller and taller. And taller. <laughs> gay men would get shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter. And so we couldn't possibly coexist in the same society. It would be ridiculous. People would be like, oh, the lesbians are coming, run away, they're gonna crushes with their John Dr. Martin boots. <laughs> Pick up that little teeny tiny gay man. He's got a very fast. With those tiny legs. 